Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about my breastfeeding story. Now I wasn't really able to breastfeed and I just kind of wanted to share my story so that other women you know who might be going through the same situation you know can at least hear that someone else went through it. You know sometimes that just makes you feel better to know that there are other people out there going through your situation. So kind of what happened with me is my daughter was born and we tried breastfeeding right away. Um, she she would latch on but she just didn't know how to suck. So you know we had worked with her, the lactation consultants worked with her and we finally got to where she was breastfeeding. And the first couple days were great. Hold on baby. Go off the it's getting to be about bedtime if you couldn't tell. But I'm, I'm going to make this quick. So, uh, we stayed three days in the hospital. We stayed an extra day just because she was having trouble breastfeeding. And then she got to where she was doing great at it. So, we came home. And that first night was horrendous. Um, it was getting to the point where she would just eat nonstop. And we were trying different positions, trying to calm her, trying to get her to eat. And then we realized I just didn't have a supply. Um, I had realized my supply just never came in. Um, I was producing some, but it just never really happened for me. And so basically kind of what was going on is I would maybe produce an ounce to maybe two ounces if we went, you know, a while in between feeding. Your baby cannot live on that. <laughs> they just can't. And so uh, we started supplementing with formula. And they had actually sent formula home with us. And so we started supplementing. And then essentially what we did is I would breastfeed her. And then we would supplement to keep her full. And then I would pump. So feeding her became an hour thing. It took an hour between the pumping, feeding her, bottle feeding her, every single feeding. And we did this for a month. My supply never got any bigger. This this is this whole entire month. And I just never established one. And so at about about that the end of that month, I just decided, you know, maybe it's time to stop. I didn't really want to stop, but you know, it was stressing me out so bad. I knew I wasn't, I just knew I wasn't going to make a supply. So I had just, just decided just to let it go and stop. And I'm so glad I did looking back on it now. It was just so much stress on me and I was beating myself up over it. And you know what? My daughter's fine. <laughs> it doesn't matter if you breastfeed formula feed as long as your baby is being fed that's all that matters if you can breastfeed and you're able to do it that is awesome but if you need a formula feed that's okay kids the kid is eating <laughs> um you know and by the time they get older you're not going to be able to tell which kid was breastfed and which kid was formula fed my husband can't breastfeed and my daughter thinks he's the coolest person on this planet <laughs> um they are two peas in a pod and they do everything together. Um, I hate a breastfeeder. So your child's going to love you whether or not you breastfeed them or not. So if you're in this situation, don't beat yourself up over it. You know, if you're trying to breastfeed and this is happening, you know, keep trying. But if it gets to the point to where, you know, it's just not worth it anymore, it's okay to stop. Um... So, you know, just at the end of the day, you do what you believe is best for your child. And, you know, I am for both sides. Breastfed, bo bottle fed, as long as the kid's eating. So if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.